Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to test smart contracts on the mainnet using Truffle and Gunash. I'll first talk about how to set it up, and then I'll give you some basic examples. Querying the die balance on the mainnet, and unlocking account on the mainnet, and transferring some die. Alright, so let's talk about setup. So first, make sure that you have an Infira API key. You can get this by logging into infira.io. And the project ID is the API key that we're going to need. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to need this inferior API key later inside the terminal. So I'll save it as a variable. Next, we'll need to install Ganache and Truffle. So I'll copy this command and inside the terminal, paste the command. Once the packages are installed, we'll need to configure Truffle. So open Truffle config. And inside the networks, I've created a new network configuration called mainnet fork. The host and the port are pointing to the Kunash CLI that we're going to be running. And for the network ID, I set it to 999. All right, so that's the setup involved. Next, we'll write some test examples to run on the Kunash CLI. But first, we need some addresses from the mainnet. The address of the die contract and the account to unlock for this example. That is the address of the die contract and the account that we're going to be using is this over here. The way I found this address is by using Etherscan. So inside Etherscan, I searched for die stablecoin, scrolled down, clicked on holders, and from the list of addresses that hold die, I looked for an externally owned account with a balance over 1 million. And Binance 7 was one of them, so that is the address that we're going to be using for this example. Alright, so we're now ready to run the mainnet fork on Ganache. The command to put inside the terminal is long, so I'll write the command inside here and then paste it over to the terminal. The command to run is Ganache CLI, followed by the parameter fork, followed by the URL for the Web3 provider. We're going to be using Infira, so here we're going to provide the Infira API key, which I've set over here. We also need to set the network ID, so we'll say network ID is equal to 999. This is the network ID that we set inside the Truffle config. Okay, so I'm going to copy this command and also this command above. This will set the Infira API key variable to this value which we can use for this following command. And inside the terminal, I'm going to paste both the commands. OK, so we now have a Grenache CLI running on the main network. So this means that we can write tests against the mainnet contracts and then run the tests without actually sending transactions to the mainnet. For the first example, we'll query the balance of DAI for this account. So inside the test folder, I'm going to create a file called testerc20.js. And then I'm going to paste some boilerplate code that we need to run test using Truffle. To interact with the DAI smart contract, we also need the IERC20 interface, which I created inside here. Back inside the test, we're going to need the address of the DAI and the DAI whale. For the first example, we'll get the DAI balance. So you'll get the die contract by saying const die is equal to a weight i e r c twenty dot at the die address, and then we'll get the balance of the die wheel by saying const bow equals a weight i die dot balance of die whale, and then now finally console log the balance of the die whale. Okay, so let's see what we get for the balance. Make sure that you still have Ganache running on the main net fork, and then inside another terminal, make sure that you have compiled the smart contract at least once before running the test. So I'll say mpx truffle compile. Once the contract is compiled, we can run the test by saying mpx truffle test 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 erc20.js and the network is mainnet fork. 
you can see here that the test pass and the balance of the die whale is this big number over here. For the next example, we'll transfer some die from this account to another account. Now, normally you cannot do this unless you have the private key corresponding to this address. But using Ganache, you are able to unlock the account, meaning that you have control over this account, and then write some test as if you own the account. The parameter that we need to pass into Ganache COI to unlock the die whale account above is unlock, and then we'll say die whale. So I'm going to copy these commands, including the command to set the die whale variable. And then I'm going to stop the Ganache COI and then paste the commands. Normally, you cannot transfer ERC20 tokens unless you own the account. But because inside Ganache, we unlock this account, we can write some tests as if we own the account. And to show you this, we'll transfer some DAI from this account to another account. So first, we'll get the DAI contract and then get the balance of the DAI whale. And then we'll transfer all of the die from this whale to some other account by saying a rate die dot transfer. We'll transfer to the default account provided by Ganache. So that will be account zero. The amount that we're going to be transferring is the die balance of the die whale. And this transaction will be sent from die whale. Back inside the terminal, we'll run the test again. And notice that the second test passed. So this means that we were able to simulate a transfer of over 6 million DAI from the DAI whale to our account. That was an example of how to unlock an account and transfer the DAI. Being able to write tests that interact with smart contracts on the mainnet is extremely useful. And I hope you found this useful as well. Thanks for watching and see you later.